Hi guys, Josh back here again today. Um, what I'm actually doing right now is I'm sifting through some magnesium that I bought. Uh, I'll kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. So what I've got here uh, is a bag of a three-quarter pound bag of uh, magnesium uh, strips and shards and stuff that I got at a gun show recently. Um, this stuff is really, really good fire starter. It's also used in several other applications. Um, one of the main things it's actually used for is flashbangs. Um, when this stuff burns, it burns extremely bright and extremely fast and hot. Um, you mix that with a little bit of black powder, and um, I'm sure you can find the recipes on YouTube and stuff. I'm not going to give it to you here. Um, but basically, what I'm doing here is I'm separating this out in a couple of different categories. Um, this bag was actually full, uh, and what I've got here is I've got a Tupperware full of uh, larger pieces of magnesium. Um, crack this open without spilling it here. Um, you can see they're pretty decent shards. Um, it looks like this guy owned a machine shop or something, did a lot of stuff with magnesium or whatever he used it for or had bricks and basically milled it down. So there's a lot of curly Q pieces here. Um, and so what I've done was as I'm going through and basically shaking this through, and by the way, I got these Tupperwares right here. I got a four pack of them uh, at the dollar store today. Uh, I paid a dollar for four of them. They've got these nice little lids. They're actually pretty decent so far. They've worked out really good. I also found this little uh, set of uh, cooking strainers as well there. Uh, the two of them came for a dollar. It was a two-pack set. I figured it was a great idea. Um, the mesh on this is pretty fine. I don't know what the exact mesh count is. Um, as you can see, it's pretty tight, so it's not letting very big particles through. Um, this is what I've actually combed down so far. I did about a quarter, maybe a third of the bag so far, um, and I've gotten about this much here. I just weighed it out. It's about 18 grams, 19 grams, maybe 20 grams of uh, magnesium shred, and so they're very, very fine particles. Uh, comparative to the ones over here, you can see how big they are um, versus these guys right here. So I'm able to break down. It looks like down here at the bottom there's a lot more smaller shards. So I'll probably expect to get a lot more smaller pieces out of this as I go. Um, but basically what I do is I'm going to put you down here. Sorry for the bumpy and unsteadiness here. And so let's refocus you here. Remember, I'm still doing this on my iPhone, so I don't have any of those fancy HD camcorders or anything of that nature. So let me focus you here. So got your focus, what I do, take my magnesium, and I pour a little bit, maybe this a little bit too much there, to give you an idea. Basically, it's about full, and this guy's pretty much empty, there's a little bit of loose stuff in here. And so I just shake it out, real good there. And I'm sure you're asking why I have two of these small ones here, and these small shards. Uh, basically, if I mess up and I spill, any of the bigger pieces in here, I don't have to worry about um, going back and sifting through a whole batch of it. And so just kind of shift it back and forth, just basically sifting it through. Um, sometimes the bouncing looks a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Some of those smaller pieces out of there that are caught up with the big ones. And then what I do is I just toss it into this large bowl here, and those are my large pieces, and this is my little ones. So kind of give you an idea. Got about that much there out of just that one little shift. Uh, so I do a few of those at a time, uh, and then I dump it into the, the main cache here um, where I'm going to keep them all there. So, so basically just some sifting through. Uh, and like I said, to kind of give you an idea, this is how much I pulled out of that first little run there um, that I just did for you. So it, you get quite a bit um, just by shaking it through. I mean, granted, this isn't you know a 500 mesh count or anything, so you're not going to get particle dust. Um, but for the most part, you're pretty much going to get what you need for any kind of application. And the nice thing is if you use these in flash grenades or stuff, this particle is good enough. It's going to mix, mix with the FFG uh, black powder and uh, actually spark pretty good, hopefully. So um, we'll have some demos of those up online and uh, once I get all of it put together. So this is the step one. So I hope you guys tune in. Thanks.